to Joe. Cheers. Raising a glass to reopening at the Bristol Old Vic. Actors back in rehearsals in real life for the first time in months. The cast in a Covid bubble to allow them back on the boards. There is that sort of dread that, will I ever get back to it? Will I ever be performing again? And, you know, there was the threat of theatres closing and all that kind of stuff. And so to be back in a theatre and to be doing a play and to have a live audience, to have a you know, first day of rehearsals, it's just, it's just amazing. Audiences will return for this production of Touching the Void next week, but only at one-third capacity. This is the oldest working theatre in the English-speaking world and survived cholera outbreaks. If it's to make it through Covid, they need those restrictions to be temporary. But the numbers only really stack up in theatre when we can get back to the kind of real atmosphere of a full house. 21st of June is a vital date. If we can get there by the 21st of June, suddenly the whole theatrical economy catches fire. Really, really tried to get the best of Bristol's local brewery. The, the Ushers, box office and bar staff are uh, all back too, part of a massive return to work for a sector right. shut down yeah, for months. This is a huge moment for around 100,000 hospitality businesses that haven't had the luxury of opening outside and can finally unlock their doors after months of forced closure. But being able to open isn't the same as being viable, which is why the next step on the roadmap is the crucial one. Bristol's Arnold Feeney Arts Centre reopens this week too. In ordinary times, they welcome 500,000 people a year, part of a British creative industry worth more than £110 billion to the economy. Super exciting. We installed it in November and it's only been open for five days, so it's really good to get people back in and finally have a look. And the bar can open inside too. Relief to the brewer who runs it after a terrible year. You can see the guys in the brewery walking around with smiles on their faces. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. So we've been pretty active for the last month or so now. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's great to see all these people just opening up and you know, the orders coming in again. For thousands of businesses and millions of workers, this is a moment of optimism. But continued restrictions and our reservations may mean the good cheer lasts only as long as the roadmap stays on course. Paul Kelso, Sky News in Bristol.